Hi guys, so today I am coming at you with a new look and yeah, I am really digging this so let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see, we already have one eye done. So next what I'm going to do is I will be priming my eye and I'm going to take my NYX base and this is in the color Skin Tone. You guys are more familiar than this than anybody I know. <laughs> I use this all the time to prime my lids and I just love it. Next, I'm going to start with this color right here. This is Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek and this is going to work as a transition color. What I'm going to do here is I will be taking my E40 brush. This is by Sigma and I'm going to start by applying that on the upper crease. Again, this is just going to help um, blend all the colors together and that way we don't have just one color. After that, I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color Milk and I will be applying that just to the lid because we are applying some bright colors. I like to take my finger and warm it up and then just blend it out. After I've done that, I'm going to take my LA Girl Neons palette and I'm going to start with this bright purple right here. And I will be taking just a flat shader brush and I will be applying that to my lid. As you can see, the color is really, really pigmented. I did have to go back in several times and reapply it because I did get a little bit of fallout, but not too much. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that and then blend as I go. Just go back in and pack it on. Next, we're going to move on to this bright blue color. And as you can see, it is so pigmented I love this color and I'm going to apply that to the outer half of the eye and again I'm just packing it on I am not moving it around yet because I want to get it it's pretty bright and intense so I'm just packing on that color to the outer crease of the eye and then I just blend it as I go so as you can see here I bring it pretty high but not too high I guess and I just blend the colors little by little and then where they meet i just try to blend them in a little bit because we are going to go back with an e40 brush and just do some more blending so make sure you take your time when you're blending these colors that way you don't have just like a line between the two colors you know what i mean okay so after i've done that i'm going to go back with my e40 blending brush with no additional products and just you know keep blending and the key to this look is really 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 blend after that i'm going to take this color right here this is called um brulee and it is by wet n wild it is a single eyeshadow i absolutely love this because it's the perfect color for the highlights or for your brow bone then i do go back with that brush and i just blend the colors just so there is no harsh lines and we have a nice gradient effect so after I've done that, I'm going to do my lower lash line, or actually I'm going to go in with this white one. And it is a shimmery color and I'm going to take this pencil brush and I will be applying that to the tear duct or the <clears throat> front part of my eyes. Just so they can look nice and open and I don't know, I just thought it gave it a little bit of a extra touch. Next I'm going to go back with that pencil and I'm sorry I forgot that I was filming I guess and I was totally out of frame but I'm pretty much just going to apply that underneath next I'm going to take this green color which you can do the other green the lime green for some reason I chose this green but I think it turned out to be okay so I'm going to apply that to the inner corner of my eye just going about a third into um, the lower lash line and then I'm going to stop and then I'm going to grab this baby blue color with that same brush and I will be applying that to the other end and as you can see it is so pigmented these colors are really 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 pretty and I highly recommend them I do have a full review with swatches on these uh, palettes so if you are interested in seeing that I will leave it linked down below and then I'm going to go back with that brush and just blend some more after that I did apply my eyeliner and my mascara and my falsies so next I'm going to move on to my face. I am taking the Maybelline um, Dream Lumi Concealer and I will just be applying that to cancel out any darkness or anything that I'm trying to hide pretty much. This also works as a highlight so <clears throat> it's pretty much like a 2-in-1 for me. 
After that, I like to take my beauty blender and just blend everything away because this picks up any extra product um, that I may have added if I did add too much concealer. So I like to take this step and take my time in blending everything out. After I've done that, I like to go in with a setting powder. For this look, I'm using the Contour Kit by Anastasia. And I'm taking that banana shade and that pink toned flesh color. I'm not sure of the name, but I have, um, I'll have a link down below. And I use my beauty blender to set that in place just so I don't get too much creasing going on underneath my eyes. And I feel like this is what works best for me. After that, I'm going to take my NYX blush, and this is in the color Taupe, and I will be taking this brush by, um, what is it called? I forgot the name, but it's pretty much like a, a brush to like define your face, and I've been using this to contour, and I absolutely love it. And I'm also going to bring that up to my forehead just to balance out the colors in my face and then down to my jawline so it can be a little bit more defined. And I also like to bring that to my chin. Next, I'm going to go in with my Georgiana blush. This is in the color Terracotta. It is such a gorgeous, warm brown. Next, I will go in with my Mary Luminizer by The Balm, and I will be highlighting. I love this highlight. I think it's probably one of my favorite highlights that I have. It's just, it's so pretty, and it gives a really nice glow to the face. Next, I'm going to go in with a Milani lipstick, and it is pretty bright, as you can see by the swatch, but I will be mixing two colors. So I'm going to apply that to my lips, and again, I was out of frame, so I'm so sorry, but, you know, just apply your lipstick. And then over that, I'm going to go in with this NYX Butter Gloss, and it does dry to a matte finish. And I'm going to just go over my lips with that because it's going to give it a softer appearance, and it's not going to be so bright. So after you are done applying your lipstick, you are done with this look, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And yeah, I overall really liked how it came out at first. I was a little ugh, sketchy about it, but I think it's fun and it's super girly. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.